Welcome back everyone as the sun is setting we're here on existence again it feels like absolutely for ages since I recorded a proper episode last episode was a bit of a mess it was a bit all over the place it was a bit of a tough time for me to record then and I had to half the episode which isn't something I was overly happy with but we are back here I'm super pumped to be on the server at the moment I've got a whole boost of motivation I'm ready to go as you may notice things are looking a little bit different and that is because we are actually running the new default texture pack or at least the beta of it the pre-release of it see how it goes I am enjoying it so far there's definitely some things that are a little bit questionable but I am liking the kind of overall feel of it at the moment so what are we going to do today well we are going to be kind of getting in the Christmas spirit a little bit I really want to go check out the Christmas village that Sky and some others have been working on and maybe build a tree here in town because at the moment this is really the only Christmassy thing we have here in town so I think it'd be awesome to build something up I think Sky is actually going to come hang out with us for a little bit and maybe we can spruce things up around here and make things a little bit more Christmassy Just quickly before we get into the rest of the episode, I wanted to bid farewell to KSaws, ISO and Duo. All three of them have parted ways with existence. ISO has kind of gone to just focus on other things in real life away from YouTube, whereas Kyle and Duo have kind of just going to be focusing on other things with their channels as opposed to existence and SMPs. I'm not entirely sure what their plans are, but definitely go head over and give them some support with whatever it is they do, because it is a shame to see them go, but we do support whatever they do. So farewell guys, it's been an awesome ride. I think it's been about 14 months or something that they were in existence and it was some of the best times that we've had. So see you later guys, really enjoyed playing with you and you will be missed. Hello Sky, how are you? I am so good Peaches, how do you do yourself? Not too bad, not too bad. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have been up to in the Christmas Village. It's going to be awesome. Uh, We've done a little bit. Uh, Duo just added his little mark on the mountainside. And uh, I've just been trying to do a lot of path making, a lot of laying out the ground so everyone can uh, come in and just pick where they want to plop something down. And they're all set from there. But uh, yeah. Because I mean, I've seen a lot of pictures, but I haven't actually been there in person. I mean, I don't even know how to get to there. Well, uh, you are in luck. I know someone who's very <laughs> familiar with the place. Oh, very good. For all you viewers yeah, out there, actually... this is Sky. Sky is one of the new members along with Wattles, who's actually online as well at the moment. So it's like a whole new gang of people online at the moment, apart from me. I mean, I've been here for, for a long, long time, probably too long at this point. But yes, welcome Sky uh, uh... to existence. I don't think I've actually really talked to you much. No, no, certainly not on camera. What's it, audience? <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, but yeah uh, i'm glad we we finally have a proper proper hangout yes it's gonna be awesome so shall we head over yes, to I the village yes as I was, I was saying you know the man to get you there so <laughs> let's uh let's uh get some some holiday spirits going in here welcome to christmas land <laughs> Where it was musical except for the rest of what we're going to be doing <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool I love this pathway. Yeah, thank you. It's quite tedious to make because you've got to account for light level everywhere here because of the snow. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, goodness. And so what I've been trying to do is um, you see the um, ice spikes that are kind of making a natural wall right here. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to go around and for both a decorative reason and a practical, practical reason, I've been trying to um, get these covered with regular ice because it looks oh, nice okay. and it prevents spawns. Over here we just have a little little humble cabin cottage type thing. Ooh, nice. I was going to try and build a, a bunch of these just to kind of add to the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, and I I may still do that, but I was leaving plots open over here for people oh, I to, see. Um, to kind of insert, you know, as as wanted. Yep. Um right over here, actually back here. Um, is where I was thinking the cribbus tree should go. Ah, the cribbus tree. Um, oh, cribbus yes, tree, tree, oh, cribbus tree. <laughs> where fought up thou cribbus tree? That's how it goes, right? Something along those lines. Oh, right. Come with me down this path, and we will get to Gingerbread Lane, or oh, my Candy gosh. Cane Lane. I, 
I forget what it's actually called. It's it's not important. <laughs> it yeah, is called this, Gingerbread this Lane. It was fun. Oh, I like oh. how you've done that with the podzil and the. Is that clay or concrete? Concrete. Uh, you can never tell concrete, them apart. Yes. Sorry, terracotta. <laughs> I think I'll always call it uh, clay. Yeah. It's too confusing. Pretty much. Oh, I love how you use the uh, powder to make it like gingerbread. Yeah, they're um, they're, they're, pretty, they're pretty good. I've seen some other gingerbread house designs after I built these where I was like, ooh, I should have done that. But <laughs> it's fun to make your own. Yes, this is ooh. duos. I was about to say that there is no path, so we'll kind of just have to make our way up there. I think I tried making a snow texture once, and uh, I couldn't get them to stop tiling. Oh, for, okay. For some reason. Ah, yeah, it's just empty. Wow, this is a big open space. It's like a More shop room for all the elves. Whoa, the snowballs are like super blue, though. Oh yeah, hold on. Here, everyone, I'll turn on. <laughs> I'll turn on our uh, our new textures as well. Oh wow, they're, they are—they are. They're like crystal. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's so weird. They look delicious, though. Mm, I feel they like, look like it's... little, like mellow puffs. Do you have mellow puffs over there? Uh, little, no, like... no. I was think, I was thinking they looked kind of like those uh, Japanese rice balls. Oh yeah, yeah. Little, but bit. Uh, they're kind of like little mints. Mellow puffs, little... you said? Well, mellow puffs are actually coated in chocolate, so my statement's kind of false. <laughs> <laughs> they're like mints, but yeah. they're not. <laughs> oh. Um, hang on, I want to so, get a view so from the above for a, this. So it's like a, a spearmint, or is it's, it? It's a um, it's a marshmallow, peppermint? coated in chocolate with a biscuit on the bottom. That sounds very nice. They are very nice. That is a, a beautiful mansion. I love how he's done the clock there on the front too. It's a very nice scale as well. Um, it there comes a point when building in Minecraft where if something gets too big, it um like disassociates from the player because mm. like the scale like the grandeur and the scale like uh, tip too far and the player no longer feels uh, you know acclimated to it yeah but he's done a, a good job of getting as big as possible without uh, getting crazy yeah oh absolutely well should we focus on the tree now yes yeah, so um i'm i'm sorry wasn't listening are we building the tree in this lovely spot right here, or is it back at Spawn Town? Do we want to find a spot? Well, I feel like we need one in both places. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We need one here because it's a Christmas village, of course, but we also need one in town because it's Christmas and town is town. That's where everyone is. So it kind of makes sense to have one there too. Half the iron you were going to use to build the beacon <laughs> and all your problems will be solved. Well, what I have done is just taken Liam's beacon again. Oh, I'm drowning. Hey, you got an advancement. Bring home the beacon. Here we go. Is, uh, is Beaconator still a thing or did they take that away? Uh, and now they changed it, it to advancement. No, there is still Beaconator. I'm not sure if it's called Beaconator though anymore. What is it under? Oh. Under Minecraft, is it? Well, it's under the game Minecraft. <laughs> it's a hefty tree. That is a, that is <laughs> a hefty a trunk. <laughs> um, I'm tilting my head as if I'm evaluating it, but it's really not making a difference. I think uh, it could be a little that, bit taller. Use... Maybe if it narrowed out a little bit. Like, now it started kind of going into more of the plus kind of look. Actually, I tell you what. Do one in, uh, I'm going to start that sentence again. Forgive me. <laughs> Instead of having the whole kind of classic discs for like levels as the leaves go up, maybe if we made the leaves kind of spiral up, kind of like an artificial kind of tree, but instead of being artificial, it'd be real. Yeah, we could do like um, a double helix or something like that. Oh yeah, that could work. You leave it to me. I'll I will be leave it to you. For the book. Oh, you had to. I had ruin to ruin that with. <laughs> Love Tell you things. what, I'll, I'll leave that with you, and I will build a bridge. Because I like building bridges. Why am I, why am I left with the, the, the log work? <laughs> well, you kind of did volunteer, in all fairness. P please tell me you're a professional, because I, I don't want to take advice from someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. <laughs> well, you might you be out of luck there. <laughs> I kind of usually just make things up as I go, and most of the time they turn out alright. Most of the time. 
It's Ooh, looking that's a good better. shape, yeah. I I, but now I feel like I need to make it thick like the bottom because that that feels like a correct appearance for it. Yeah, but I oh, think... Oh, won't it be nice when we have those bark blocks? Oh, yeah, that, that'll be good. That'll be fantastic. I think All if you I make it Christmas. too much thicker, then it's going to start looking too short. And I think that's a good height that you have it at the moment. Like, if you go any taller, then it's going to look a little bit odd. Okay. So I think I, I think might... you've got a good style there. You think you think I should just just stop touching it? Like, is it good all I angles think it's kind good. of a thing? Yeah. Don't want to focus on it too much. No, no, I think you've done a good job with it. I think it looks good. Perfect. Now to start on the impossible double helix <laughs> leaf pattern going up. Oop. You've fallen out of the sky again. It's my specialty. <laughs> That and a good garlic bread. Both my specialties. Oh, interesting. Never really met someone who's good at garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> it was my major in college. <laughs> Majored in garlic bread. <laughs> yeah, it's not offered at a lot of schools, but um, I did a look and I did some looking around and I found my home. Yeah. I've got to look at this because I I fear that I'm wasting leaves. <laughs> This isn't what I signed up for. <laughs> it's not too bad. I think you get once you get a few more going, it'll probably bulk up a bit. Oh, oh here I've also got end rods. If you want to try uh, using those for lighting. Oh, that's an interesting idea. How many have you got? Oh, hey, you know what? They're they're gray now. Oh, oh, that is a very welcome improvement. Oh, our tree is turned into a mob spawner. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think um, Mumbo Jumbo that? made this one. I think that's how. <laughs> hardest part is done. Not really. <laughs> All right, let's let's see, let's see. Beautiful. Never Beautiful. has there been a better tree. <laughs> hey, that um, looks pretty good. Or, or I estimate you perfectly. <laughs> It's very okay. So on the top of the at the very top of the peak on this left side, it's very straight. It's very flat, like almost like it sheer yeah. drops off. Not sure if I want to incorporate more gold or more concrete into this. Hmm. Let me take a look. See. I think what you've got going looks great, especially actually with the new textures that Yeah, I do like the new gold blocks. Noticeable. It's very it's very lush. Is lush can gold mm. be lush? I guess so. Very vibrant. I think so. It's very <laughs> lush. Totally lush. Okay, and then like this. Mm, I don't I don't know how I can contribute further on the leaves. I feel like anything I add just kind of disproportions everything. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like we've done enough with the. I think the leaves are good. Hmm, the style looks very odd now. I think I might just start again. <laughs> I need. It's all right. You can just edit that out. <laughs> Staying in mind though. There we go. The tree looks better without the star. <laughs> oh, don't say that. It was a lovely star. <laughs> I'll just tone it back a bit this time. Oh, there's a piece of gold that I missed. Okay, right. Drastically simplified the star now. I will look in one moment. It looks much better. <laughs> like, much, much, much better. Well, how do you know that last star wasn't my favorite? <laughs> there were a few signs that kind of gave it away. Was it when I cringed? <laughs> Actually, go ahead and steal from Eli. <laughs> well, here we go. Master Thief has done his job once again. Perfect. <laughs> All is going according to plan. <laughs> right. What I might do is... Let's see. Actually, take... my, my inventory is a mess. Why don't you take the rose red dye and use your free space to make concrete. It'd be nice if there was 
I don't know, a, a recipe to craft already made concrete, or if you put four powders in the grid, it hardened it. I, I don't know. What would make sense is if you took the concrete powder and you crafted it with water, that would give you either like a block that goes hard over time. I think that'd be cool if it was like a, a actual Ooh, like, like, a del like a temperamental block that actually changed over time. Like a I mean, random tick or something. It's possible. Yeah, yeah, they've got that with leaves, they've got that with, you know, snow and light levels, things mm. like that. It just doesn't really make sense why they haven't. Like, it wouldn't, because concrete, like, all you do is mix the concrete powder with water and you get basically a slurry. And then mm. you, that slurry just hardens over time. Really, they've got to recode concrete, is what you're saying. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> But Do you like... need a sick beat? <laughs> I'm just going to try not interfere too much. Or maybe if we have the green and yellow as the main kind of tinsel wrap. And then, sorry, the green and red. And then have kind of little um bubbles of gold and yellows around the place. Because I think if we Ooh. don't want to, if we had too much wraps, so you're just going to cover the leaves essentially. And I don't want that. <laughs> Leaves are very good. We're very proud of you, Peach. <laughs> we put too much effort into the leaves just to cover them up. Yes, but we know they're there and we know that they're of amazing <laughs> quality. They're of some quality, at least. They have quality, yes. <laughs> Are you? Oh, you're on the tree. Here, I got you some rockets. Here, you can have have some okay. from this yeah. uh, this box. Complimentary, no charge. <laughs> I don't like how straight this ribbon is. I need to adjust. Food and fireworks. <laughs> I'm an American after all. <laughs> yep, yep. So, what are you into speckling it around? I'm just, yeah, just a little, a little, a little dash. If you were, if this tree were someone else's dinner and you're like, how much pepper would you like? And they asked for a dash. You just want to do the same amount we have going on already. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> um, want me to run that back for you? No, no, I think I got it. I think I got it. All right. Well, see. just in case you didn't. <laughs> Repeat it several more times. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's great. I'm very happy with that. I think uh, you think we should get some torches or end yeah. rods. And yeah, I was going to think end rods actually. Chapter? If I give you half of the end rods I've got, and then we just spickle them all over it, I think it'll look quite good. Yes. Well, a dust would also be nice. A dust. Yes. Like if somebody is baking a cake, and they ask you how much icing sugar do you want on there and you say a dust a speckle oh <laughs> we're dusting it. <laughs> this isn't pepper <laughs> all right sky tum so we got waddles that's me sky tum <laughs> tum tum i think that's good probably the worst branding i ever chose was something that's <laughs> abbreviated into tum Tum -tum. No, At the time, unaccompanied minors seemed so witty. I just <laughs> had to go with it. <laughs> right, I'm going to steal a block of gold off the tree so I have 11 blocks of gold. <laughs> so I can give one to everyone. Is that everything done? Apart from the Christmas I, I village think... one? Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. It's everything done that we're going to do out here. Mm. Oh, very good. Very good. Oh well, shall we final things up then? Yep, I'll get the matches. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, no Sky, you don't do that till after Christmas. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got a problem. Oh gosh. Oh well, thank you very much Sky for joining me in today's episode. I think we spent a lot longer yep. on that tree than we anticipated. <laughs> That took the 20 minutes I thought it would take. Oh my goodness me. That took for ages. Uh, my, 
My, my pleasure, certainly. I don't think I'd want to build a Christmas tree on a Friday evening or and or Saturday morning with anyone else than you. <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, this is going to be my episode until after Christmas. So to all you viewers and to Sky, I hope you all have a happy holidays and enjoy the Christmas season. Happy holidays, everyone. See you later. <laughs>